In this table, we can see when the flat drive can be accepted as reinforcement. This means that you don't have to put additional reinforcement. You can only use the flat drive as reinforcement, subject to the following conditions. This table is mentioned here in two times, one in SI unit and the second in British units. Let's go in the table on the left, which is an SI unit. You can see that this table have two so two divisions. The first division representing the pressure static or static pressure in Pascal for the duct operating system pressure in here by the first column. And the second is the first row which refers to the duct wall thickness. You have the duct wall thickness here 0 0.55 mm, 0 0.7 mm, 0 0.8 mm, 1 mm or heavier. Each of these have two values below it, W and MM and RS and MM. As we can see, W is the maximum duct width and RS is the maximum reinforcement spacing. So for each value of the static pressure at a certain duct wall thickness, you will have the maximum allowable duct width and the maximum reinforcement spacing. Let's continue on our example at the duct of 70 centi at 500 Pascal operating pressure. I will enter by 500 as my row and I will intersect it by the vertical duct sheet metal thickness. Going back to the previous slide, 700 will give me 1.31 duct sheet metal thickness at 500 Pascal. So I will use this column of the 1 mm or heavier to go to the 500 operating pressure Pascal. This will give me the maximum width of the duct applicable at which you can use the flat drive as a reinforcement of this value, 457 mm, and will give me a reinforcement spacing of not required. So if my duct is 457 mm or less, no need to use a flat drive as reinforcement. This table here have some notes. Although the flat drive slip T1 does not satisfy the calculation requirement for classes A, B, C reinforcement tests predict its suitability for use as a reinforcement when the limits of this table are achieved. NR means no reinforcement is required, however T1 joint must be used or may be used. Okay, let's choose randomly another duct. My duct is at our operating pressure of 250 Pascal and this duct is uh, 450 mm. Going back to the previous table to specify the sheet metal thickness, it's 450 mm, so it will lie in the duct dimension here from 401 to 450. So this is my entry point as the row and the column will be 250 Pascal. So the duct sheet metal thickness will be the intersection of 250 column with the 401 to 450. It will give me 0 0.7 mm as duct sheet metal thickness. Okay. Going to the next table to specify if flat drive is accepted as reinforcement or no. 0 0.7 lies in here with the 250. This gives you a duct width or duct maximum width of 508 mm. And the reinforcement spacing maximum will be 2.4 mm. Okay. I hope that's clear by now. If we also go back to the previous table, you can see that from the duct sheet metal thickness, which is in the second case 0.7 mm, lies between 0.5 and 0.85, you can use a minimum flat drive slip and drive thickness of 0.7. So this will give you a hint that you only need to know the duct operating pressure class and the duct sheet metal thickness will be resulted or calculated accordingly and from this onward you can specify any details related to the joints or, sli or slip or if any reinforcement is required for the duct.